On January 5th, 2019, a group of motorized snow bikers was stopped on top of Spring Slide Mountain in the Swan Range to take pictures and look at their maps. A large cornice broke beneath one of the riders as he was walking near the edge of the ridge line. The cornice subsequently triggered several thick, persistent slab avalanches in very steep, rocky, and cliffy terrain. The hiker fell 200 feet over cliff bands and was carried another 100 feet down the slope by debris and buried. He suffered numerous serious injuries. His partners performed a companion rescue and stabilized their patient while initiating a search and rescue response. Two bear air evacuated the victim and we are happy to report that he is currently recovering from surgery. So the avalanche likely broke down on this facet layer. This is a, our weak layer that formed during our early uh, December, late November dry spell. These facets are gaining strength. You can see right here, it's buried four to five feet deep. This is in an area that has a nice uniform deep snowpack, but in that rocky variable terrain where the person was caught, uh, it's a lot shallower. There's gonna be more weaker spots. There's gonna be, the facets are gonna be closer to the surface and have stayed weaker longer during the, during the last couple, um, during the last month of loading. So pair that with a huge cornice that can then act as a big trigger. That's how you can trigger a large persistent slab like this. Unfortunately, people are often surprised by how far back cornices break onto ridge lines. As tempting as it is to peek over the edge, unless you know you're on solid ground, it's best to give cornices a wide berth.